welcome back to another episode of Scum. This is Series 2, Episode 1. And this one is all going to be about our base build. As you're aware, at the end of the last one, we've chosen this uh, area at the side of the river. And we are currently um, just literally on the cusp of A0 and B0. You can see the yellow circle. I've already, um, on my server, created a zone there. Uh, which is Brothers Grim HQ. Okay, I've already gone through the stage of building a flag, which is what you need to do. Uh, and I'm going to basically build a base for its entirety, hopefully. Now, I'm not going to be cutting all the trees down for the wood, etc. etc. I am literally going to be using, not God mode, but I am going to be spawning items in, and then I'm going to be spawning the. Um, the supplies in if you like to complete the build uh, this is for like continuity and just literally to do it very well quicker than normal the exercise here is just to get a base really uh, which I've already built 30 times already in uh, while I've been playing scum um, yeah so what I'm going to do to start with I'm going to lay a few floor uh, pieces down just to show you how we sort of do it and then I'm going to speed the video up um, through the entire so if I'm building the floors if I'm doing all the floor work first I'll complete the floor work then I'll come back on then I'll explain the walls and I'll make a few walls to show you and then I'll complete all the walls etc and we'll build it up like that okay um, the idea is I want a base in this expanse but I also want it to look out onto the river and then I want like a jetty for the bow and also that we can fish off as well. So let's uh, let's see where we're going to start with this. Okay, so building. So we're going to Twig Foundation. Uh, so obviously we've got to raise this up a bit. Just wondering actually whether to start further back because obviously um let's have a, let's have a, let's just have a little look at this what i'm going to do so i'm going to start it there Okay, so if you look at this now, it tells you what we need. So we need four long sticks, three logs, three rope, and um, oh, some sort of weapon which I've got. So, so I spawn item, and then it's long stick. Let's just put stick, and then look for long wooden stick and I need four so three um, logs wooden log and then we want three rope um, I know that's three lots of rope, it's not necessarily. So what we do then is come off here, keep spamming F. And that's the first one built. Let's pick that to this rope up. Okay. So that's that one. So now if we go back to build again. Um this one again. Okay now it, you see how it's at a different angle. If you move it towards the edge that you're going to join, it automatically tries to place it so now what we can do stand in the middle and we can create oops one there we're going that far across there and we put one there as well let's have a look yep and let's try one there okay so we've got a four to make there on either side so if you look at this we need to 
Um, so the root we don't need, we've got some. For the log we need three, so that's one, two, three, four. We've got the rope, and then we want wooden logs, we've already got wooden sticks, four, 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 even four. That should be it, so let's. Okay, so that's the way we build this up, and I'm going to build it up all the way across, more or less to where the flag is, and uh, back a bit and forwards, and then then I'll be able to subdivide the uh, the footprint up into different rooms, and might even have an up, upper floor. Okay, so what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to speed this up, so when we come back, all the flooring will be done.
Hello, welcome back. Um, yeah, as you can see, I've made a little bit of progress on the base. I've not done the carport and what have you, it's just taking too long. Um, I'll do that as and when we get some vehicles later on down this series. However, I have completed quite a bit of the internal. I know I said I was going to do it bit by bit, but I just thought you can, you can see obviously how I built it in the, in the uh, previous part of this video. I'm just going to walk you around it now and just show you what I've done. So, obviously this is where we landed over there. It's a two-story building. A little sign there. On the outside, at the moment, I built a little well around here. There's no water in it currently. And a log shed. Uh, as we go in here, we have got this flag. And we've got everyday equipment such as uh, anything really pens and um, gunpowder batteries paper clips every, all that type of stuff the general stuff will all go in there and um, this is like gardening equipment got a little bedroom in here that's for my storage that's for dad's storage and I've got another mate that plays sometimes but uh, I've just made that just in case as a spare. So that's just shut up. Got a little medical bay, so I've got pills in that one and bandages, so anything medical in this sort of area. And um, that's nothing at the moment. Let's go in this room first. So this is my clothing. So in here we've got, in this cupboard, we've got uh, hats and anything you wear on your head, uh, anything top related, legs, footwear any armour, accessories such as sunglasses, neck scarves, blah -de blah all that type of stuff because in that one and then there's bags one. Good old chair to have a sit and look at uh, our wolf up there. And this is now 
where the weaponry is. So let me explain to you. I've got a sidearm one. So in here, all the sidearms would go in that one. Stacked, so I would probably have. Um, so for example, show you. It would go in there like that. And all it would it's a queue up all the way along that row. And I'd also leave a secondary row. So I'd leave the first six all with that type of weapon. And then I'd probably leave another three and then start with the next weapon. So all the weapons, the same weapons are in the inventory. Right at the bottom, I would put any um, sort of like equipment in relation to uh, sidearms. Uh, it could be like sights, um, suppressors, anything like that. The next one along would be sidearm ammo. Exactly the same. Um, from left to right, just keep all the same ammo together and keep it nicely uniform so at a glance you can see if you've got any ammo for a certain thing. And I'd put the magazines at the bottom of that one as well. In fact, all the ammo ones have the relevant ammo types for that weapon. And then at the bottom, all the uh, magazines would be again vital uniform all together SMG so some machine guns all the main hardware in there and then the ammo for it same with assault rifle two for that rifles in there sniper rifles just got one for bows and crossbow and then arrows will be underneath and any equipment shotgun and shotgun ammo um, and this is for melee weapons um, I sometimes like put things like grinding stones in there as well. Military equipment, um, such things as the compass, military compasses, flares, that type of stuff, and possibly things like uh, mines as well. And then miscellaneous. Um, well, is there anything else to do with equipment? So that's that one. And here is his kitchen. So we've got cookbooks in there, pantry, so food, um, normal storage stuff. What I would do when we find them, I usually have a couple of generators on this left hand table and perhaps a gas hot plate or whatever I can find and then I have a couple of fridges uh, that are powered by the generators. Um, we also got here a workbench, a metal storage area and a toolbox. And then we've got an up, a second floor, which there's nothing on here, it's just a roof where we can look out. You can see the blue circle there is where we can build. That's the confines of our base. It's quite a big circle. Uh, okay, so let's just go outside now. I've made like a little uh, walkway here and I've got a very small jetty where his boat is, you can fish off here, whatever you want to do. And that's, uh, that's it in its entirety really. Um, as you can imagine, some things we take to the trader, a lot of things we bring back and as you as you'll see, things start building up and up and up and before you know it you've got tons of equipment and the next thing really we need to do is to find a land vehicle on the next episode I'm going to strike out on foot and I think I'm potentially going to head north to the hospital to get some medical supplies um, there's the brick factory to the right of us where we are um, and the bunker to the south of that is an old style bunker, it's not an abandoned one, so I can get some uh, block picks and bobby pins and what have you before that, that's where we'll, we'll head that way as well. Right, okay, well, I hope you've uh, enjoyed just watching me create this. Um, this is just one variation of how to build this. It's not the best base by any means. If this was on a normal multiplayer server, this would be the worst base ever. Uh, defendability wise, etc. Um, it's very weak, but I do like 
to build quite big bases with lots of storage in it and you know which basically it's my own server so there's only ever going to be me and my brother and a couple of friends on at any one time I will open it up at some point because uh, I have got a 10 slot server but uh, not just at the moment all right uh, as always please like and subscribe uh, so you don't miss any future content um, and I'll see you in the next one where we will be striking out and uh, getting some loot all right so uh, for now adios Thank <laughs> you.